morning guys it is Thursday morning uh, I'm Jamie by the way uh, thank you for checking out our channel and this morning I'm just doing my usual routine of um, getting some honey jars ready we just got a shipment of jars and I have to fill some jars up and then I'm gonna head on out and set up our farm stand uh, if you don't know we are beekeepers we keep between 60 and 100 colonies um, and we sell at the farmer's market, we sell online, and then we have a farm stand out front. So I am just up bright and early. It is about, well, it's not that early. I got up about quarter to seven, took my time, had some coffee, and uh, this is what you get. I, You know, when I started the YouTube channel, I was like, thought maybe I had to make myself look presentable, but I don't have time for that. I don't know. I see some people on some channels that... They just look so put together, but I mean, I'm running a farm here and I just got to get up and work. I don't really have time to mess around with that. So this is what you get. <laughs> um, I got some jars. I've got some one pound jars here. It's kind of a small order. I, I do this all the time. I have to start ordering in bigger quantities. So just, and we go through them so fast and then I'm ordering again and I'm paying extra for shipping because I'm not ordering, you know, bunch at once so so we got I think 51 pounders 58 ounces and then I've got these textures here we use these we don't use these for our regular raw honey but I use these for our infused honey so that's what those will be for and obviously I am in our home room. This is just a room in the middle of our house. Um, when we moved here, we knew we needed a spot to extract honey, bottle honey, make soap, all of that. And this is actually the dining room of the house. And out here is the parlor or the den and we use that as the dining room. It's a huge house. This house is like 20, I think it's 2,600 square feet. Um, so there's plenty of space. We are actually building um, a honey room outside, but we've had some things happen over the past couple years that have set us back. So hopefully, we're hoping by this fall, we will um, at least have most of it done and gradually be able to move our honey room out there because this is messy. You know, this isn't like I'm running, writing a book in the middle of my house where, you know, filling honey jars, uh, you know, there's honey, there's wax, it gets all over the floor. I'll show you here in a minute. And um, this is never a super clean space. Obviously, I keep it clean to be able to fill jars in um, from a health standpoint, but it's always, there's always honey and wax on the floor and um, I'll be excited to get that out of here outside. So yeah, I'm going to, um, Go ahead and get some jars filled and uh, you can come along with me. All right, let's fill some jars. This camera, I don't know if I have it pointed the right way. Anyway, so I'm gonna fill some, I'm stepping in honey as we speak. <laughs> I'm gonna fill some sourwood jars and then some wildflower. We also have the farmer's market on Saturday and I have absolutely nothing done for the market. Um, it's like this every week. We do the Hickory North Carolina Farmers Market and it's absolutely awesome. I don't know if y'all can see me. I think I might need to move this. Oh. Let's try that. Um, but we do the Hickory Market and it is an incredible farmers market um, even in the off season. It's a year-round market so we from April to November is like the summer season and then from November to March. Um, is the winter market, but it does incredible. So we're constantly, I'm constantly filling honey jars. Like I feel like all the time and can never keep up, which I guess is a really good thing. Um, but yeah, if you've never been, if you're from the North Carolina area and you've never been to the Hickory Farmer's Market, you need to go. They have everything. Um, you know, the fresh produce, honey, baked goods, pork, chicken, lamb, um, goat cheese, raw milk, crafts, um, anything you could really need, you could get in one stop at the Hickory Market. So we do that, like I said, and then we do an online 
We have an online shop and then we do our farm stand, which does really good too. When we bought this house, and I'll have to show you guys, it's a beautiful 1930s farmhouse up on a hill. Um, but the only thing I didn't like about it is it's on like a two lane highway, um, which can be pretty busy at times. I mean, our house sits kind of back, but if you guys knew where we lived before, you'd understand that I just like peace and quiet. So I didn't love the road, but I saw it as an opportunity to have a really successful farm stand. And it has definitely turned into that. Um, we, it, it does awesome. I, I want to expand. I, we'd like to eventually put a building down there. Um, but we've got so much other things going on that that's not going to happen right now. But so yeah, so right now I'm filling our sourwood. And this is our summer honey. Uh, sourwood comes from the sourwood tree, uh, which blooms mid-June to late July. I'm trying to think. Yeah, late June. Late June here. Um, sourwood is a very special honey. Um, it has won best honey in the world, I believe, twice at the International Honey Tasting Competition. I filled that one too much. Um, and it only grows in certain parts of like Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and the Appalachian Mountains at certain elevations. So it's, even though there's sour trees in Ohio um, and all over, they don't produce nectar in those areas. And um, it's a very sought after honey. So we get premium price for it. And um, people don't complain. They, they're always asking for it. So, but then we also have two kinds of wildflower, which are equal. I mean, they're just delicious as well, and they're a little cheaper. Um, so, all right. I think that's good for the farm stand for the sourwood, and then I'll fill up some wildflower. And I'll show you the difference here in a minute. Actually, I'll fill like. Let me fill a. If there's any in here. Might be a little bit. I have to refill this one. So I'll show you the difference here once I fill this. This is uh, locust honey, primarily locust, uh, which comes from the locust tree, which blooms in spring. This is the best locust honey flow we have ever got. Um, it's very light. It has a, like a very yellow color to it. And uh, it's very floral. So I don't know if you can tell here, but you can see the difference in color maybe. If you get in the light, you can see how yellow the locust is. Um, our sourwood, it looks darker in the picture, but it was a little darker this year. Um, sourwood is usually clear or light, very light amber. Um, this year our sourwood, even though we pulled our frames in a hurry, to get, so this is how it bloomed, let me explain. Okay, so the light wildflower bloomed first. Then we had a second surprise flow, which really took us by surprise because we ended up pulling like 18 five gallon buckets of this was the dark wildflower, which came from the mimosa tree. Well, it bloomed, we pulled it right when the sourwood was blooming. So we had to get it all off and put the frames back on for the sourwood flow. Well, while the sourwood was blooming, the mimosa was still blooming a little bit, so it mixed in with the sourwood, and it doesn't take much. It doesn't take much at all to darken honey. Um, so a little bit of that mimosa got mixed in with the sourwood and darkened it a little bit and just gave it a little bit of a different taste. So um, the law is it has to be at least 50% to label it accordingly, and it's definitely at least 50% sourwood. But... It's not the best sour wood we've ever had, but it's still delicious, so. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill some more um, jars here, and then I guess I'll take you all down to the farm stand, show you our farm stand, and uh, set it up. Okay guys, I'm all loaded up and we're going to head down to the farm stand. Um, usually I take our golf cart, but it is broken, so I have to drive the van down there. So let's go. It's not 
terribly far, but the boxes are heavy and it's just easier to do it this way. We've used the dolly before, um, but this is the easiest for me. I've got some problems with my shoulder and stuff, so this is how I got to do it. <clears throat> Set her up. All right, we're set up. It might rain today, so I didn't put a lot out, um, but I did put a few bars of soap. Um, so yeah, got our wildflower and we've got our sourwood. We got a little box for our money, a little honest box. We put some change out for people um, in case people need change. And we've been running on the honor system here for about three years and it's done really well with the exception of one or two incidents. So we just keep on doing it. And as you can see, our um, stand is a manure spreader. It's an old manure spreader that we found on Facebook Marketplace for like $150. And we added the frame and the roof and uh, turned it into a honey stand. So you can hear the traffic in the background, um, which is a good thing, right? Like I said, I don't love living on a two-lane highway, but there's a lot of traffic that comes between two cities here, um, two small towns, so we get... Um, a good amount of traffic and it's great for business and it allows us to continue to farm um, and make a good income out of doing what we love so that's it I'm all set up and uh, here's a really loud truck coming by those are the ones I don't buy that's a logging truck and those are the ones that don't buy honey but hey they got to get to work too right so that's it. I'm going to um, head on up and start getting ready for the farmer's market on Saturday. I have nothing done for that. So you can see our bees. A few boxes back there. So, All right. So that's it. That's what I do every morning. Uh, when I set this up. And like I said, you know, we do, we do good down here. Sometimes we'll come down and it'll, we'll sell out. Um, and some days are slower than others, but all in all, it's a really good um, way to make money on top of the farmer's market and the online sales. So uh, if y'all are interested, our farm is Be Kind Family Farm. I don't think I mentioned that. It's different than our um, YouTube channel name. I don't know why I did that, but I just did. So that's it. I am going to head on up. There's our little farmhouse on the hill. And uh, continue working. I hope you'll have a great day and thanks for thanks for watching. Catch us next time.